The only thing we can do outside of the forbidden zone is upgrade the stealth suit more. Seems like it might be handy. Thursday afternoon. Discussion of collapse. Might I be of service, sir? Say hi to chat. What? What? Into the camera. Yeah. Honeymoon phase is over, y'all. It's it's pajama party night. Pajama fucking party! I was like, man, I really want to play New Vegas, but I really don't want to put on clothes. So I didn't. Just put my robe on. Suck it. Yeah. Well, I don't think that's how that works. Anyway, welcome, chat. Uh, we are playing Fallout New Vegas again tonight for a couple hours. Hey, Casey. It is bespeckled commentary. Yeah, the illusion is ruined. I wear contact lenses. You know, I have really, really bad eyes. Um, legally blind without 
some sort of corrective lensing. The best eyes. Yeah. Um, if you know anything about nearsighted or farsightedness, my prescription is a negative 5.75. Like, right now with my glasses off cleaning them, uh, the monitor is just uh, some blobs of color. Sexy blobs. Sexy blobs of color. All right, there you guys are. I see you again. So when we last left off uh, Let's last, go. last night, uh, Jay was like, I'm never going to upgrade this stupid stealth suit again because it's taking too long. And so do you want to guess what we're doing tonight, chat? Setting it on fire. We're, we're upgrading the stealth suit before we go into the Forbidden Zone. Seems like it might come in handy since it said something about stealth in the Forbidden Zone. Yeah. Trying to be practical. His desire for, uh... Survival? Yeah, his desire for survival outweighs his desire for speed. And since I broke the fuck out of it last time, I figure maybe I can easily upgrade it. You can try to break it again? I'm Casey's, do whatever I can to... Casey's so excited for you right now. My mic's like way down here. Yeah. Are you gonna eat it? Eat the mic. Nom, 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 nom. I had to push the table out some. It was like all up in my grill. Yeah, so Jay bought me this nice, like, rolly table to put all of our gear on. And, like, four hours after we bought it, I broke one of the wheels. <laughs> I just need to take the wheels back off. It's on carpet. It's because it's on carpet. But also because I have gremlins. Oh, I guess while we uh, begin this... Uh, let me let you guys remind you guys about the contest in the link below in the about us section if you copy paste that it'll take you to a site where there's six chances over five ways to win this super cute guy our fallout dorbs uh, power suit we're gonna give him away on october on october yes in october no we're gonna give him away on april 13th so you have until april 12th to enter good luck all right i believe in you your your melee is like in the 50s now you'll be fine <clears throat> yeah i'm not worried about that if you get detected it ends oh yeah oh that's probably bad. Crap, I gotta put the suit on. Uh, <laughs> hold on, I'm gonna stealth. You're gonna like. Hold on, I'm gonna stealth in here in my sexy sleepwear. I mean, I'm gonna stealth boy anyway, so whatever. Maybe that's how we were able to hack it, Casey, is because not only were we wearing the stealth suit, but we had put on a stealth boy. Surely to Christ, I'm not the only one that thought of that. I'm sure you're not, but. Did the developers think about that? That's the real question. I thought about a lot of things. I imagine. Oh. Did anybody see the meme I put on Instagram about uh, Fallout? It was, um, it was a picture of a table and a chair, but the chair was like growing through the table, so it looked like a graphical glitch in real life. Uh, the text above it was something like, um, Welcome to Bethesda. Uh, this is your first day of work. Here's where you're going to sit. <laughs> Stimpak reserves. I wasn't adequate. listening. I have no idea what you're That's talking right. about. That's all right. Chat, chat was listening. We're okay trying, to, trying to do the thing. We have trying to, to do the thing. Pain. Uh, tax. You gotta select. This is the advanced test. Watch out for laser tripwires. Oh, oh yeah, this. tripwires. So, crouch. Well, yeah, but also, you know, look at the actual ground. Stealth boy. Crouching through them will still trigger them. Stealth wires. Like, those are lasers. Yeah, that's not a wire. How do I discern that? Uh, still should be Yeah, a, still the yeah. same thing where you just, like, sneak. Yeah. It's a freaking laser beam. Wait, you can hack it? Apparently. What happens if you hack it? Oh, uh, I get 50 a pop. But it, <coughs> do you get more if you hack it? Mm. Hack it just sets it off if the robots trip it. Uh oh. Well, Which is hilarious, good. but doesn't help me at the moment. No. Also, free experience. I guess at the cost of a stealth boy. Yeah. And you had to have a pretty high repair to do that, too, it looked like. Pointing this way. I don't know. Seems to want you to go that way. Nope. Nope. Worse. There it is. Hey there, buddy. 
please. It's uh Whatever. Get fucked. Too bad. Oh. We were spotted by robots. Um, if we go back to the terminal to restart the test. Wow, I they're won't mess uh up again. Okay. Now we know. I guess you could just reload so you don't waste that spell boy. Maybe. Gotta gotta use your thinking brain. <laughs> That's right. Stacy says we okay stand safe coming. <laughs> what? Oh man, do you know what? Okay, it's a thing in any RPG. It's called We're save okay scumming. It's when anytime you fuck up, you load from the last save rather than dealing with the consequences of your actions. Oh. Because eh. you're, you're save scum. Watch out for laser I do that sometimes. To a degree. Like, to the, I actually read about this earlier today. Casey, maybe we were on the same imager thread because I was reading something about when Fallout 2 came out? No, Elder Scrolls 2? I don't know, one of those. Uh, there was actually a page in the manual uh, saying, please don't save scum because we've built the game for you to have to deal with the consequence of your actions and you won't even see a bulk of the game if you go through p perfectly without ever making a mistake. Yeah, that's kind of my feeling in general. Like, even if they didn't purposely make the game to where, like, that was their plan like i you want to see what happens when you mess up i want to see how it happens if i play the game the way that i want to play the game yeah so if you mess up yeah basically <laughs> hey guys uh, a lot of freaking laser beams oh no what have you done hacked it so when Hack the, the planet! So when the robot walks through it, will He's it attack trip the it robot? And blow it up. Hilarious. I assume, anyway. Let's wait and see. Whoa, what's going on in the doorway there? Hey, buddy. Crap. Doors. You're mortal enemies. I just want to see what happens. Nothing good. Aww. Dick. Dick uh, is what happens. He was, there was, where's the, uh... The earth-shattering kaboom! There was supposed to be an earth-shattering kaboom! Kaboom! Maybe it just means you can walk through it now. That doesn't do anything. I mean, it does if you don't have a high enough repair to disarm it. There you go. See, you just had to bitch a little. I feel like I should save. Probably. Maybe a different save, though, not the one that takes us back to the... Dude, that was an autosave. Oh, well, I haven't yeah. saved yet. Excellent. Everything's coming up, Gemma. With an H. With an H. It's a hard H. Gemma. 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 Gemma! <laughs> well, now her name is ruined forever. Or, you know, better for it. <laughs> She was named after her ancestor, Howard Dean. Did you do it again? Yeah. Hilarious. Look at us. Look at us go, Casey. <laughs> Look at us now. Except for... Ah, there it is. <laughs> You're like, what is this witchcraft? Good job, baby. Test you did it a second time. For more updated to version 1.2, borrow subnet online. Neat. Casey, I don't know what you were doing there. to make it harder on yourself, but yeah. uh, take a lesson from me. <laughs> yeah, be be uh. Burn a stealth boy, jump around a little bit. Be cheaper. Get shit done. You weren't being cheap enough, Casey. Expert. Yep, third one. Here I guess this says mine. Stealth test. If you thought the lasers were bad. Proximity detectors. Proximity Ruh -roh. This would be a little bit more of a challenge. Yeah. You can't just be hopping around like a moron this time. Or can I? Uh, no, I don't think you can. Pretty sure. Or can I? Uh, save and find out. Yes. <laughs> If there's anything that viewers of Team Marriage should take away, it's that you should. There's never too much saving in a game. When Jay's playing. 
Uh oh. I hear the. As soon as you <laughs> unlock the door, it's gonna. Where is it? Where? Too bad. We triggered what? a mine. You triggered it. You don't even have to make it explode. Where the hell was it? I don't think it was a mine. It was a proximity alert. Okay. It was for a proximity mine, but I just don't know where it was. Was that it on the table? The coffee table behind you? No, that's an ashtray. Well, it's probably gone now because the test has ended. Huh. Well, bollocks. Okay. Reload. I don't even know what I'm up against, really. Yeah, some sort of magical witchcraft. I have a hundred in science, damn it. Okay, where? Let's I think it's wanting me to like go the long way. Yeah, maybe that's it. Yeah, you gotta just stay away from the proximity. Where? I don't understand what's happening. Casey, what are we if doing? Back to the terminal to restart the test. I'll do better next time. Hmm. Maybe let's read what she wants us to do. I've already started it though. But if you go back to the computer, you can probably read it again. Well, that burnt stealth suit. Hmm. All right. Laser tripwires proximity, proximity detectors, detectors have been activated. Proximity to what, though? <laughs> like, to, yeah, I'm confused. Casey says, "Sorry, I was uh, I was reading my girlfriend a bedtime story. That's fucking adorable. Mega cute. Ugh, you just made my day. Why? Okay, yeah. See, we gotta. Right, there's one near the desk. So we gotta go around it. Nope. Nope. Run." Nope. What is happening? Okay, 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 you're safe. Nope, nope. Nope. Too bad. Ugh. We were spotted by robots. If you go back to the terminal to restart the test, I won't mess up again. Hmm. <clears throat> This one actually requires skill. We are in trouble I don't think now. it does. I think it requires pattern learning. Oh no, is this the Pac-Man of uh... Look, I mean, fuck this. I'll just... Yeah, you just gotta be like, hauling enough ass. Too bad. We nope, the robot, robot sees robots. you. If you go that back robot saw you. He's behind. I won't mess up he again. He saw oh, me. Oh, somebody saw you. So maybe we can't go this way because there's not enough time to. All right. Can you go in through those doors that are across the double doors? Oh, it's just a single door. Hey, pity fuck. Crap. Nope. Nope. Bad. We were spotted by robots. Robot saw you. you. Go back to the terminal to Damn it, robot. I need to go through this door. Again. This door? Yeah. Okay. Same path as before. Yeah. You just gotta. Wow, that's still hacked. I wonder if I could just hack all of them. Like preemptively. Preemptively, maybe. Or it looks like they turn them off. Yeah, these aren't on anymore. Just the one that I hack stays on forever. Because it can't hurt you, I guess. Hmm. Well, Interesting. Whatever. Seems like a way to abuse that. Okay. We're it's we're like velociraptors. We're learning. Yeah, I don't fully understand what's happening, but god damn it, I'll figure it out. So like a velociraptor. I don't know why this part of the fence hurts, but we're going to keep trying until we find a part that doesn't hurt. Almost a pity fuck. <gasps> the patrol spotted you. Too bad. 
We were spotted by robots. We were too if fast that to time. No. To restart the test, I won't miss. Got to find somewhere in between. We really need to test that room across the way because that's key. Like. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Close. off robot oh, no. okay so far so good should we save yes <laughs> phew getting spooky no. No, like internally spooky. Like I'm nervous because like you're halfway there and living on a prayer. Crap. Oh, good thing we saved. We were spotted Just, uh, by robots. Yeah. If it's they go back to the terminal to restart the test, I won't mess up again. <laughs> I'm gonna make my way through this by force. Yeah. <laughs> This, we're gonna save every three feet. It'll be like corpse jumping to the end. That's how I beat Mist and Riven. By God, I'll do it here. Yeah, getting there. Should we save again? Yep. Okay. Totally cheating the system here. Couldn't care less. We are definitely save scum tonight. Crap. Oh no, even the controller's like, really? God damn it, batteries. Hold on, we gotta get batteries. I'm stealing yours. He's, he's cannibalizing the batteries out of my no, controller. No, no, no. What did my controller ever do to deserve this? It was in my proximity. Uh, now on Tuesday when I go to play Castlevania, I'm gonna be like, what the hell is wrong with my controller? Casey says every save file is a parallel timeline, and I am here for it. That's right. We're uh, we're just quantum leaping this bitch. Wait, I wonder if there's a proximity mine down there. There is. Doesn't yeah. matter. <laughs> Got it. Firmware updated to version 1.3. Torso fitment synced to user Good job. physiology. I win. It only took you a few tries. It wasn't that bad, really. Cheated the hell out of it. Yeah. The game didn't want us to save every five minutes, it shouldn't have given us that option. Dumbass. Wait, now where? Out. Oh, we're done done? Yeah. I thought you had to talk to the computer again and she'd be like, good job! Jump? Well, I guess we do. Yeah, I was right, okay. You gotta be like, you did it! What is this? Begin robot compliance test. This is the robot compliance test. If you sneak up on a robot, oh, no. you can disable it. It's not it's so done! Easy, even I can't mess up. Hmm. Disable all robots. How many of these <laughs> upgrades are there? Casey just said, wait! I wasn't looking, he was like, just one more trial to go. He's like, wait, you've got another lap, man! Get back in that maze! Damn it. <laughs> You thought you were done, but it pulled you back in. Uh, you're not stealth. Those robots are gonna see you. We're running out of stealth, boys. How many? I guess I have to do all of them? Yeah, I guess it's three threes. Oh god, the fucking detection thing is still... Sleep now. <laughs> this is a nightmare. Okay, phew. All right, how many of these robots? Oh no, we have to go in rooms we've never been in before. All right, all right, all right. I got right, this. Okay, okay, we understand. I'm gonna sprint like hell. You just like haul ass across the the lab. Yeah. 
Okay. Godspeed. I love you. Go, go, go! Watch out for the lasers. Okay, now can't sprint no more. There's gonna be bad guys. Oh, buddy. Force lock. Yeah, you just fuck it. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay. How do you, you gotta, I would just hack them so that you don't ever have to deal with it again. Oh, <laughs> but next time we won't have to do that part. I'll do better next time. Maybe we should walk around and see where they all are. I know where they are. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Never mind. This is the robot compliance test. If you sneak up on a robot, you can disable it. It's so easy, even I can't mess up. Except you did, over and over again. <laughs> you gotta it disable him, not hug him. Did I save after that? I won't mess no. up again. Alright. Well, then those trip mines are gonna still be active. That's fine, I can go that way. Remember, we're not hugging him. Yeah. We triggered a mine. If you go back to the terminal to restart the test, I'll do better next time. Uh, Casey says he thinks your stealth suit is suggesting that your doughy meat bag body is slowing her down. <laughs> <laughs> She's being very passive aggressive about it. <gasps> I'm gonna hear you kicking shit. Damn it. You gotta crouch as you're coming around the yeah, corner. Yeah, I, I had it aside from that. Because there's like a split second before he turns around. I yeah. just gotta grab him, like, real quick. Go, go, go. Watch out for the lasers. There, this should speed me up a little bit. Okay, crouch. Yeah. Testing nice. <laughs> I basically had to like slide into and kill him like like home base in baseball. Close enough, baby. I tried. <laughs> I understand that there are bases in baseball. Base for your face. Was that uh was that it? I you think that was it. Okay. You don't need to talk to the robot again. No, that was it. Alright. Good job. What? Are we doing? Are we just mopping up tonight? Is that what you're doing? No, that's in the forbidden zone. Oh, okay. Now my stealth suit is is balls of the wall amazing. I guess. Yeah. Can we run, crouch now? Is that what that is about? Um, there was something that we could do where we would be able to run while crouching. Yeah, wasn't that it? Probably. Upgrading the suit? Yeah, crouch and go. See what happens. I'm just gonna look at the suit. Okay. 20% yeah. sneak yeah. speed. Yeah, so we now go faster sneaking than. No, I definitely do not mean faster yeah. crouched. Well, not with your weapon not drawn anymore. Scorpions. Get out of here. Uh, Casey says if you go into third person while you're doing that, you look like a scuttling crab. Maybe the robo scorpions will think you're one of them. Alright, crouch. <laughs> Maybe we don't have. What did you. 
Wow, that is true galaxy brain. Look at you. You have literal galaxy brain. Because I'm, I'm great. Super great. To the Forbidden Zone! Glad I already unlocked it. Let's go! <laughs> yeah. We're not running. There's no running here. Oh Time shit! To fight. Time to fight, says your suit. Na, 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 na. You know you could go into vats. That's all. That's all she says. I've already explained that I prefer to. To just wail. Yes. Does it make you feel like a man? No, it's funny. Men can't be funny. Is that what you're saying? No. No, they can't. Correct. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. I'm not happy about this. This isn't what we came in here for, is it? Wait, how much DK does your regular stuff? Not enough. Not enough? Okay. okay. Yeah, go away. Oh, shit! What? Why? Look, it's got radiation all over you! Bats! Who cares? You gained the tough guy perk. the shit is happening? Get fucked up. Yeah, but like, why? Uh, Casey says go hack it. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, but we gotta get there. Like, every bone in our body is jelly. Some sort of, like, robo-scorpion nightmare. Okay. hi <laughs> Oh, that does yeah. nothing. Oh god. Oh, Just beat my ass with his hands. He says not to pieces with science. Oh. <laughs> You're talking about a very aggressive individual. Of course I'm going to go at it with the axe. <laughs> oh, the English language is amazing. Hack it from where? Behind, I guess. Or wait, maybe up there in that room? There's no terminal. Let's get the high ground, Anakin. Up the butt, he says. You gotta go up the butt. Like he's Thanos. And you're Ant-Man. Found some ammo. That's great. Yeah. For the first time in all of this entire expansion. No, it's not ammo I wanted. Oh. It's just ammo. I'm sorry. So I'm supposed to go up its ass? It, it, it's not stopping, like, turning around. Maybe if you were stealth. Oh, no! It just fucked me up. Yeah, fucked you up. Okay. How do we get behind it? We can't... Oh, yeah. Get in that ass, Jay. Hack that hiney. <laughs> we are trying to figure out how to get it to turn around. It knows exactly where I am. Yeah. Guessing if I stealth boy and crouch, it's still going to know where I am because yeah. it's a boss fight. So, like, how do, how do we get behind it? I feel like you should have been able to run around the upper levels to get behind it, but that doesn't seem to be working. Hey. Terminal? Drone control? This sounds promising. Saturnite armor plating on the giant robo scorpions has exceeded all expectations. Distractions could work, Casey says. Target drone. Well, it doesn't seem to be bothering you in here, for whatever reason. Yet. Oh, it's because it doesn't see you! Now it doesn't, because it's I stuck the drones on it. Go, 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 go! <gasps> nope, we didn't go fast enough! There, yeah, look at that guy. Tank, you need to hit taunt. Why is taunt not in your rotation? 
Nicely done. That was ridiculous. That, yeah. Phew. Good job, Protectorons. You did it. Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, what? Were we supposed to kill him while he was hacked? What happened? He unhacked himself like some kind of self-aware robot. Oh, no. Well, time to kill him. I mean, is, is he my friend? No, I don't think so. He's red. You're in danger. Wait, no, maybe. I'm just going to leave it. He says, your beauty robotics cannot match the mind nope, of Mobius. Nope, he's shooting at me nope, now. he's mad. He's super pissed. Okay. But now he's okay. Now he's not pissed. Bethesda, why are you like this? Yeah, I'm very confused. I'm angry, and I'm confused. <laughs> We're just gonna. We're uh, just it's still pointing me at the scorpion. Hmm. Oh, that's deliberate. The stack. The, the, it only stuns him. The hack does. Oh. Oh, there's an audio log right Super there. Super great. So can we just snipe him from up here? With what? Ah. Yeah. Exactly. You've been picking up ammo. I thought maybe you might have something of use. A bunch of magnum rounds. This one looks pretty tough. Why are you still wearing your stealth armor? Because I snuck up up his ass. Hey! Fighting over. No, bitch. The fighting has only just begun. Time to fight. Ow, they broke your arm. Super irradiated, just so you know. Was that all? Groovy. Like, I'm pretty sure you have rad poisoning. Casey says, if only you had some kind of EMP sound based weapons. I'm using them. Yeah, now. Giant Robo Scorpion. Oh, health. Health. Does that feel better? Phew. Oh, wait, no, she healed you. Never mind. That's cool. I forgot she auto healed you. She's using all your precious stim packs. Injecting stim packs. Yeah, I just now realized that she's uh she's on it. I think you might be out of stim pack. She's not healing you. No more stim pack. Yeah. Shit. Nice. You finally killed 75 enemies with guns. 40 hours in. Pretty sure I've done that already. Whew. All right. It only took me all of my stem packs. Yeah, seriously. Literally. The game was like, no. You get no stem packs. Don't know if I should like, reload, to be honest. That's your call, but... Uh because it looks like I could have gotten up here and maybe turned on some turrets. Yeah, those are definitely turrets. But where do you turn them on? I'm Probably guessing right, right in there. there. Go look. Oh, you can't get in. You don't have any more ammo for the... 
the door. Hilarious. Yeah, that looks like that looks like turrets though. Hmm. I guess you could save it and then load from a different save and see if you can do better. And if not, we wouldn't have lost doing all of this. Yeah. Play smart, not hard. Hey, pirate kitty. I don't even know where the hell the last point I saved at He's was. He's passing those, everybody. He's doing so good since his surgery. Yeah. Now he just looks like he's perpetually winking at you. I need to post one more update to the GoFundMe page, but I've been waiting for this. Opened up a scab in his eyebrow, so I'm waiting for that to heal over so he looks pretty for the camera. Yeah, in the name that is all that is Mobius. Fighting over. Scientists are just so. What's the word I'm looking for? Arrogant? Yeah. Alright, bye, kitty. He's done with me. I bet there's something up there, too, because that was all blue walled off as well. Crap. What? Just a super stem pack on accident. I'm gonna hack him. Hack him and wail on him a little bit. Okay. But will wailing on him unhack him? I don't know. I really don't. Let him see you. Oh, oh, no. Wow. Well, then I'm just going to kick his ass. Yeah, apparently. Damn. That was way better. <laughs> heck, heck yeah. That was stupid easy. Yeah, we feel dumb now. <laughs> Why do we always make this harder than it needs to be? I blame every, Casey. Every time. Ah, oh, so close to 32. Am I 31? Yeah. Madness. All right, now let's rob the place clean. Do you get the stim pack and the medical kit down there? Yeah. Casey says much better second attempt. Third, fourth, somewhere Seventh. in there. Who knows? Who's counting? Don't forget to grab those min tabs. Make yourself super smart. So, do you think men hats are just Adderall? Probably. Where's it want me to go? Out? For what? We're done here? Uh, <laughs> <coughs> that was weird. Bless you. Thanks. That was a weird sneeze. Um, it the find the audio log tape has stuff to do outside of the forbidden zone. Interesting. Well, let's go do that. You cannot fast travel from inside. Motherfucker! You just don't learn, do you? No. Definition of insanity, baby. Still hear the Tesla coils firing somewhere. That was almost a pity fuck. <laughs> you get like half a bingo square for that one. I've just been forced force opening them. Oh, have you? Yeah. I guess maybe it relies on my luck. I don't know. It hasn't failed once. It probably is luck driven then. Leave that cat alone, Corbin. My 
goodness. He's an old man, Corbin. Leave him alone. No, Ahsoka. That means you too. Hey, leave it. Get your puppy butt away from him. I think I need to go get there. Aggravating. Huh. Luckily, you have a fast travel point, at least. Uh-oh. Uh-oh? What uh-oh? Enemies. Don't you need that to make stems? Uh, I'm not sure which plant I need. It's one of them, though. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to take the stairs up. But then I thought you must know something I don't know. Nope, I know nothing. Just now. Why is Jon Snow sp speaking about himself in the third person? Because he knows nothing. He snows nothing? Yeah. Okay. As long as I was hearing you correctly. Nope. Oh, maybe. Oh, you hacking son of a bitch. I do what I can. Fighting over. Is it, though? It is not. This one looks pretty tough. No, it doesn't. Shut up. Okay, maybe it does. It's named! <laughs> but it has no opposable thumbs, so fuck it. What? How did it- I don't even want to know. Gross, it's spitting at you. Fuck you. Fighting over. Very dramatic death for a plant. I win. I'm plant king. Queen? Yes. Also that. Hey, was that it? Yeah. Nope. Time to Careful. fight. <gasps> trip mine, trip mine. Hmm. Hey guys, what's uh, what's going on over here? I guess we came up the back way. Yeah, you weren't supposed to jump hack up the wall. Fighting over. We we're supposed to come up from this side. I get up here however the hell I want. Obviously. Not my fault. The game was like, no one will ever do this. <laughs> Hubris of man surely does not have bounds like this. Ready, steady, fighting. Where? Oh. All right. Oh. I was getting away from the enemy so I could travel. Ah. Wonder what you were doing. Hey, model. Ula. <laughs> he wants to know what is up with the Venus fly anus. Um, I don't know how they came to be. Did the bio... The flyness. Was that all? I don't know. The, the We don't know how they're made. The robots with the brains and jars did a science. They did a mad science and came up with those. What their reasoning is, no one could know. It's beyond us. I can know. I don't know, but I can know. <laughs> you could know if you wanted to. You, your knowing lives in Canada. You've just never met it. Right on, baby. Just plug it in and I'll mix you up a sweet tooth. What? <laughs> a little late for that now. Yeah, we needed that earlier. Do we have tarantula? I mean, we do. We also have Robo Scorpion. And Is that the newest one? Yeah. Let's see what it does. We can always uh, change it back. Bonus damage. Critical strike explosion. Power armor. So when it crits it, it, it makes him go pop. 
Neat. Explosions. Are we gonna run into a bunch of power armor guys in the Forbidden Zone, you think? Or robots. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I guess if you're in power armor, a critical strike is an explosion. No, baby. It works against power armor and, and robots. robots. Okay. You got some plans for me, don't you? Yes. Oh. Banana yucca and barrel cactus fruit. Oh, are we gonna level? Yeah. Good job, baby. I'm awesomer. Level up. Oh, and it's an even level. I think we got a perk. Mm. Wow, you're just all in there, aren't you? That's mm -hmm. what I'm using. And our medicine seems okay, even though it's only 73. We haven't really... And we don't really need to increase our sneak now that we have our super sneak suit. Alright. Hmm. No, not that one. 25% faster and stronger when you're irradiated. No, thank you. Wait, weren't we gonna do Mysterious Stranger? Oh yeah, stranger? we're gonna get Mysterious Stranger, even though you never use vats. I use vats. Because you're a monster. I just don't use vats in here. <laughs> Alright. Back to the Forbidden Zone! Yeah, those are all out in the world. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. Let's go see what if Mobius is a this one looks pretty brain tough. in a jar. What one looks pretty tough? They're dead, yeah. suit. Calm down, suit. Damn. I should probably put on my other suit. Yeah. Your real suit. Robo Scorpion has respawned. No, thank you. <laughs> Hard pass. Hard pass? Okay. Although, I guess as long as I can do the same thing over and over again spawn the drone, sneak up, hack it, slash it a few times. Ah, uh, yes, the, uh, the boring grind of early RPGs. But no, it seems that <clears throat> once he's dead, he stays dead. Does that not look like it should open up and there'd be like a missile silo underneath? Alright. I don't know why the robot scorpion exploded into viscera. Um, I think because they're uh, actually like cybernetic. Like I think part, there's like, I think there's biological material inside those Scorpions. Well, it looks like I just exploded a fucking scarecrow, though. I don't know, man. Take it up with, uh, with Big Mountain. I'm sure they'd be happy to hear oh, from Oh, I can't customers. wait to nuke this place. He Hello? This room's very, very familiar. Yeah. We've come to kill you? I don't really know. That's creepy. It's the brain tank. Yeah, this is just a mirror image of where the other brains live. It's the Brack Show. Oh, there. Hey. Hey, we're buddies. Hey. Talk to me. Huh? Yo, hello there. Uh, there he is. You are there, aren't you? Uh, forgive my confusion. So hard to tell these days. Oh no, a senile robot man. Uh, you seem familiar somehow. I'm guessing uh, you're here for oh. your brain. Perhaps it's just up there. Uh, such a nice brain, young. Casey says bright. you wouldn't hit a guy with broken uh, monitors, would you? Yes. See you. Uh, can you walk into my left, uh, right FOV cone? No. Ah, that's it. You're coming into focus nicely. Uh, I've defeated your giant Robo Scorpion. You're next. You know? <laughs> wow. 
Depth perception is a problem with this old monitor of mine. Went black a while ago. <laughs> That's old age for you. Mm. Should look at getting the visual hey, GTX. It's just that the it right does sound like Professor Farnsworth a little bit. <laughs> Flying tortoises. Good news, everyone. Would you care for a mentat? No, we have so many. With the okay, thank you. <laughs> he just gave you the robot grandpa equivalent of a Werther's original. <laughs> mentats, delicious and smarty. I have all sorts of amazingly scientific thoughts and ideas when those chalky tablets are zipping through my bio. Whoa, gel. whoa, buddy. I forget them all not long after, though, especially with the data constipating my memory core. Afraid binary streams might shoot out my chassis. Gross. Had to start using the dome floor and walls here to inscribe equations. Although I've somewhat lost track of where they start and end. What the hell is going on? Really? That implies preconceived notions, theories, and a hypothesis about this meeting? Please extrapolate. What was I uh, supposed to be like? Evil After bird? all, it might be worth a cognitive realignment if your theoretical Mobius is better than I. <laughs> Give me my brain. All a variety of reasons. You're something <laughs> of a <laughs> <holy>. <laughs> anomaly. You're, you're really quite special and not Aww, in the cranium. Poor old senile man away. robot. You see, it's working. I'm falling into his trap. <laughs> Jay can tell you that I have a soft spot for like senile old men. A victim of your own success, as it were. If you were to go back they remind me of my dad. About the procedure, that, well, that sounded sadder than it was. It's not it was it's not sad. Popped back in and you could walk right out of here. Can't have brains moving around of their own volition. Yeah. I'm not sure, except that I'm sure there's a very good reason for it. I have very good reasons for almost everything I do. Even if I forget them occasionally. Although I feel this one is especially Other important. Other kitty, hello. Oh, oh well. She's meowing like she wants me to hold her and then I go to pick her up and she's like, never mind. Flight or fight response, you know. Hard to cut that out completely. Your brain is here, safe with me. He's he's addicting you to mentats against your will. Oh, curiosity. I experience that less now that I know everything. Wow. You know, maybe it was when I found out some unpleasant answers. Mm -hmm. Repair? The ghosts aren't real? That changes everything! Why, I can save my computing power for other perceptual impossibilities. <laughs> Please be my guest. Uh, the receptor is there. And the side-switching wobbly bob, uh, just turn that. That's the official Good. word for it. Good. Damn right. Better? Oh. Oh, yes. Uh, that feels wonderful. I think we just got tricked into giving him like a this robo handjob. That's okay. Afternoon mentats break. Bisexual vampire monster of the wastes. Wow, you got 75 experience for doing that. Well, every scientist needs an army. Mine came to me what? after these rather large scorpions kept coming in from the dessert. Like poisonous <laughs> frosting. Mm. How scary, I thought. But they had survived when nothing else had. Perfect candidates for improvement as a reward for their tenacity. I mean, then I, thought, I guess that makes sense in a weird way. Bolts, and acted as walking eyes and data drained computers and acted as bullhorns. Then I made them bigger. Then I thought about custard. I do so love custard. Or was it mustard? Mustard custard. You. Mm, I miss sugars and salts. <laughs> I find things curious as well. Go on. Go on. 
Oh, I was probably tripping hard on Psycho when I said that. <laughs> wow. I work myself up to it. Not usually violent. Except when I am. Then, <laughs> watch out. So many chems, such varieties. Whenever I take Mentats, I can feel my entire chassis breathe like a big spherical lung. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> As for the psycho, sometimes I didn't know robo brains could be drug addicts. My tank all switched up, go in the wrong tube. Still served its purpose. Wait a minute. Did I? <laughs> Maybe I did. Can't have them leaving. Is some reason for it? Ethics or uh, mm, comms? Yeah, that is the whole plot of RoboCop too. Like. The I'm scientists sure can have their own reasons better than I do. This is some Yoda bullshit. He's pretend he's doing he's pulling us a Yoda. No, I don't think he is. It's my name and my new name overwrote the old one. This name's as real as you or I. Although I believe brain expressed similar incredulity at the nature of such an appellation. Someone's what? been watching too many old world science fiction movies, it said. I believe it meant me. I must admit I have a vulnerability for holotape fantasies of planets and robots and all that is forbidden. As for the name I was born with, like the think tank, we were all reprogrammed to forget them, hmm. take on new names. It enforces the recursion loop and our perception programming. That's a lot of big words. Now, trap is a rather harsh word, like excrement. Not an inappropriate word, but still rather harsh. What? Yes, I did. Uh, it takes some liberties with their programming. It's all right, they don't remember. What? I certainly didn't until you said trap, and then I said excrement, and then... Huh. The radar fence to keep the think tank hemmed in wasn't really enough. They keep testing things. They would have found a way to disarm it. I suspect I have wow. plan C's in place, but I may have coded myself to forget them, just in case. Uh, probably very I'll tell dangerous, him the second piece. lethal, or worse. So I had to do something else to keep them occupied here. Or you like to say, trapped? <laughs> I prefer to have several plan B's in case the A's fail. Okay, so Casey says Damn it. TLDR. Uh, think tank are so bad that Mobius trapped them here and made them stupid, but also lost his mind in the process. Yeah, that's what I gathered. Yeah. It's also kind of what I figured from an early on point. Well, you can't back out, I don't think. I don't know if they're stupid. I was <laughs> Dr. O. Which is actually not his real name multiplied, since you can't multiply his yeah, we real got name it. His in the first zero. place. Ouroboros, Klein, got it. Ouroboros. They have all forgotten themselves, and not only themselves, but the world, sense of time and history. All that is left is what's here. Why did we get teleported here? I reprogrammed their chronometers, geometers, and cartography programs. This is now their world, here, Big Mountain. It was a merciful lobotomy, really, wow. thinking back. They were my friends, but sometimes they would take things too far. Just getting and real. The world isn't ready for that kind of too far thing taking. That's my professional opinion, anyway. And I am told I was once <laughs> quiet professional. <laughs> A snake that sucks its own dingle thingy, I believe. 
Boros was always too obsessed with animals and their dingle thingies. <laughs> It's simple. Despite their many failings, they are rather bright. Hey, Charlie. They are the think tank um, I'll explain what's going on here in just a second when we get back to another change. tree. Without something to distract them, make them afraid, they would simply deduce what had happened. And when they start deucing it up, <laughs> then you came along. The final variable solved. They saw that their world was larger than they perceived. Bacteria finally able to see its host. Okay, so Charlie, real quick, what's going on is we're in the Forbidden Zone where Dr. Mobius is uh, keeping his rad scorpion army. And it turns out that he has basically lobotomized the other robo brains um, to trap them here in a recursive loop because they were so evil with their science experiments that he felt the need to contain them for all time, but also it made him go crazy. So that's where we are. There have been other visitors to make them doubt their perceptions, but you are the one who dialed back their monitor micromagnifiers. I'm sorry, what? You were irrefutable proof that there was a world outside. And then there was the whole brain fiasco, which forced me to take steps. What? See, your brain had a special kind of uh, a wrinkle, a uniquity that they had never thought to try in all their countless escape attempts. Uh. Ah. Uh, oh man. That's from where I got shot. What? We got so many options. Yes. Very. I should have Mentats in just you instead of the other Oh yeah, he's around. also addicted to drugs. Like, super addicted. Mentats. In any event, you showed up at the think tank, and because you had suffered a cranial injury in just the right place, bullets in the head are usually much more fatal, and yours was a light case of bullet head items. <laughs> But it was enough for the autodoc in the sink to change its programming to fix the problem. And the brain extraction technology for once worked. Wait, wait, that what? That gave the think tank the knowledge its brains shouldn't, uh, couldn't, uh, couldn't possess. <laughs> With that That's knowledge, a new word, guys. the procedure can be reversed. If they obtain that procedural data, they can use it to mush and modify their cranial cells into hosts to slip past the radar fence. I'm sure of it. Right. And once they're off the reservation... I doubt your brain would be so unreasonable. It already knows the trick of it, you see. Doesn't need to be in a host body at all. If you become friends or exist in an uneasy truce with weapons aimed at each other, it would unlock the fence for you. Well, once the think tank was dealt with, of oh, course, man. your brain is a responsible sort. Doesn't want mad scientists running around everywhere. I don't think my brain knows me very well. Yeah. Where was this brain, uh... <laughs> where was this brain when it was in our head? Yes. I certainly wouldn't loop it on purpose. 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 I am far too sophisticated to make such a childish error. 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 <laughs> so many dialogue uh, trees. Not much. Except they contaminated Big Mountain and installed new ideas in the think tank. One caused a great deal of infrastructure damage <laughs> with his brain and smartiness. Ruthless, that one, played a little rough with the trains. But the last one was the most dangerous. Him eh, slipping away. That was almost as bad as the think tank uh -oh. escaping. We'll have to deal with him later. The first one, the ruthless one who smashed up our toy trains, 
ask for weapons, power, items he could use to destroy a nation hmm. with force. The other, the other asked a different question, and with it got the true answer about what makes nations. And That's not a good answer. Them. It's cryptic he spoke bullshit. To the think tank to climb, showed them the flag of the old world, and it made them remember all of it. All that had happened. They shared things with him that they shouldn't. He now carries those ideas. So this is other expansions. Elsewhere. Sounds like it. I don't think they <laughs> understood either. Good job. You, you failed so My much, you got a... No, it just progressed. Yeah, you progressed in your failure stone, achievements. Fear. And along with the emotional download, other data rides the fear carrier wave. It prompted them to focus on retrieving those technologies and bring them to attack me. And coincidentally... Pardon my language. All those technologies are needed what? to put a brain, uh, your brain, back into its skull properly. The X2 antenna can be used to focus your alpha wave frequency. Hey, we've already got the sneaky suit. The and sneaky the suit? Antenna. Yeah, we're ready. Give it us our shit back. A cardiac regulator. And the sonic sound wave projecto emitter was never intended as a weapon. It was a medicinal vertebrae pulse desensitizer. In short, brains are All right, this is some Wizard of Oz shit. Spine. I think there was a story once where a band of murderous thugs sought these things. It's true. They, they were monsters. Had them all the time in the story didn't stop them from murdering to get them and it won't stop the think tank either yes my overly aggressive camda broadcast was designed to keep reinforcing the forget fear rinse and repeat program oh and the get me the things to castrate your only possible escape attempt yeah <laughs> But I couldn't delete you or your arrival any more than I could the other visitors. Only so much science can do when you started talking to them. Yeah. <laughs> you're really quite difficult to ignore, you know. It's because you're, well, bah, rather intriguing, if you'll forgive an old brain for saying so. Why? Why? We're so average. Oh, that means my plan is a total failure. But it is unfortunate. Oh well, at least I tried. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, this is getting interesting. You are just filled with these little slices of curiosity, aren't you? Yes. All right, give us back our brain. Do you? You seem fine without it. Ouch. And does it even want to go back with you? Maybe you should ask it. It's quite independent, has all manner of opinions. Tell you what, I'll leave it up to your brain. If it what? wants to go, then fine. If not, well, you should respect its wishes. I mean, he's not wrong. Yeah, I'm fine with leaving without it. If your brain doesn't want to go with you, then, uh, you Indeed. know. Indeed. The, uh, goodbye part of our little chat, then. Uh, goodbye. Uh, please mind the equations on the floor. Yeah, don't scuff up his equations, baby. Let's go talk to our brain. Brain tank. Uh, well, something horrible happened here. These, uh, Ooh. equations are all over. Even better scrubs. Ooh, fancy scrubs. Yoink. He doesn't need him, he got no body. Hey Brain, how's it going? Let's uh Well, well, look who finally dragged themselves in out of the wasteland. Why is and our brain a dude? Where have we been? Hmm? Crawling through bits of radioactive muck again? Yes. Okay. <laughs> ah, well, as to that, 
You'd be surprised how hard a feminine sounding voice modulator is to find in the Forbidden Zone. The third. It's not as though brain sustaining life support tanks grow on trees. I had to take what I could get. Uh. <laughs> ah, lovely. Figure that out, have we? Would you like a cookie? Do you have cookies? After the think tank extracted me from your skull, they fell to bickering amongst themselves. I'm sad to say we were quite forgotten about. That Dr. sounds great. Obius saw an opportunity to gain some leverage and had me spirited away to his dome. Yeah. I don't know. I'm afraid the trauma of our separation rendered me quite insensate. I didn't come around until I was safely ensconced in this tank. I'm quite sure whatever he did was highly scientific, though. Yeah, okay. Hardly. Dr. Mobius keeps a close optical sensor on the goings-on at the think tank. As soon as he saw the opportunity, he took it. <laughs> well, as long as your curiosity... It's not, but we don't have any other dialogue trees. Barring the unlikely event that I evolve some sort of rocket-propelled locomotion, <laughs> I will be here. I thought we were supposed to be ah, like... Ah, the meat has returned. Lovely. Don't you want to get back in? Okay, I guess we can't yet. Ah. Oh wait, here we go. Yes, well, believe me, the opposite is equally true. Good lord, have you bathed at all since they pulled me out of you? When was their time? <laughs> well, I see sarcasm hasn't eluded you. Fine, perhaps now isn't the best time, but it's the principle of the thing. <laughs> well, that's a fine how do you do. Me, a uh, quote, dick, unquote, as if I'm the one responsible for the way you carry on gadding about the wastes. <gasps> I'm not the one that makes us clamber around technics infested ancient vaults <laughs> or charging off to New Vegas on missions of ill conceived revenge. And have we forgotten who got us shot in the head and buried in a shallow grave? Hmm? Do you think I enjoyed that little moment? <laughs> <laughs> fun? Fun? Is tetanus fun? Hmm? Is rickets? What about sepsis, huh? Enjoy that, do we? Eh. The things you do with our body are suicidally dangerous. And if you could silence your glandular impulses, Does this mean that Fallout New Vegas is, is, like, confirming the existence of a soul within this universe? <laughs> because I'm if the brain isn't body. making this choice, the is and the meat isn't... Look What's left? Perspective. Here I have peace, quiet, and safety. Well, barring the odd rogue scorpion. In your head, I've got poison, radiation, grisly injuries, and biological functions. Do you know how much more you can get done when you're not constantly looking for places to urinate? It's quite a lot, I can tell you. Too bad I got arms, you know, you're coming with me. <laughs> Overrated biological feedback. Believe me, you only feel that way because you've got all that meat oozing hormones. Yeah, take that. Hmm, I suppose you're right. That does call certain assumptions into question, doesn't it? I can't feel. Uh oh. Yes, yes, all right, bravo. You've come up with something I neglected to consider. There'll be no living with you now. <laughs> so, what do we do about this? Uh, get the hell back in our head. Mm. Why would you want to leave your brain here? Why not? Who cares? I'm I mean, clearly functioning without it. I don't know, it makes me feel itchy inside. <laughs> like, that's the only explanation I've got. It makes me feel itchy on the inside to leave our brain in a tank and hope that whatever... You know me, like, I'm all about, like, some yeah. installed nanotech. And... Whatever force bond is keeping us together doesn't have some sort of, like, distance limit. I suppose. I mean, it's your it's your playthrough. You do what you want, but if you leave your brain in a tank, I'm probably going to keep bringing it up because it's going to make me itchy. I kind of wish I had a coin to flip. 
What are you doing? You can't flip that. That's not. You didn't even call it. <laughs> you just flipped the back. All right. Uh, Casey says you should save first and see which perk you like better. Oh, you get a perk either way. Yeah. I can't save mid conversation though, can I? This is too weird. I'll be back later. All right. Nope. Can't save. Yeah. This is too weird. I'll be back later. Barring the unlikely. Now you can save. Good call, Casey. Thank you for the. Uh... It seems like Google can accomplish the same thing. We hadn't gotten to that point yet. We were still bickering. <laughs> it would have taken us like another three minutes to get to the point where I was like, I'm just going to Google it. Do you want to join me for some more wild adventures? Well, I suppose you've convinced me well enough. I'll rejoin your bodies at your final decision. Unfortunately, before we get to uh -oh. the stage of the proceedings, we have a problem. Even if I could settle myself back in your skull and reconnect all those pesky nerve endings, Dr. Mobius doesn't have the tools here. Oh, we luckily would have to for make you. Use of Dr. Klein's lab, and I rather doubt the brains are inclined to share. It's stomping time. Oh, lovely. We've reached the mindless violence portion of the program. Yes. Tell me, what exactly are you, and I use the word loosely, planning? We just said we're gonna go in there and kill them all. Wait, you got more options if you scroll down. Can we, uh... Wow. Just say violence is the last resort of a civilized man, and I'm feeling mighty uncivilized. Now that you mention it, I do miss that lovely rat -a boom a bit. It's just not the same without a body. What's the next step then? They're, they're dead. Alright, this is where you pick if you stay or if you go, I guess. Uh, I think we picked when... Oh, okay. That arrangement suits me fine. Do try not to get too many holes drilled in your head, will you? I may want to drop by for sentimental reasons. Right then. You best be off, hadn't you? The think tank will be waiting. Alright. No, oh, don't worry about me. When you're gone, I'll flush myself over to the sink. It's amazing how far you can get in this place with a good flush. You. I'll keep myself hidden in the ductwork. Clyde won't suspect I'm inside the dome, so he won't know the pacification field no longer works on us. I can also upgrade the sink's auto dock with the procedures to reinstall your heart and spine, assuming you want all that flesh and gristle back. Yes. Yes, we want it back. I'll see Not really. The sink when this is all over. What? See, we have this argument normally because he would get nanobots installed in his body, and I'm like, "Are you insane?" I'm not not insane. All right, so we gotta go to the auto dock. I guess we'll, we won't even know what perk we got until after we do this. I guess. Again, yeah. Google's right there. Rain almost sounds like Stewie Griffin. Almost. Every uh, voice actor in this DLC has sounded extremely familiar. Well, half of them were Doc Hammer. Yeah. But all of them, like, have that, like... Yeah, I can I can hear who you actually are. Yeah, I can hear it in my monkey brain that you were part of my childhood, like in a cartoon somewhere. Or my, you know, last week. Yeah, we still watch cartoons. I was just, I was trying to be a grown up about it. Fuck that. Rich Brothers for life! <laughs> no, not Doc Hammer. Charlie says. No, not Doc Hammer. I don't know if you mean no as in, like, no, that's not who that voice actor was, or no as in, no, not Doc Hammer. Like, you have something against him. Which is it? I mean, it was Doc Hammer. He's Dr. Uh... No, no, the guy playing our brain. The voice oh, of our no. brain. No, that's not Doc so. Hammer. Although he's an extremely talented uh, voice actor, so. Yeah. He might be able to pull off a Stewie Griffin type. Mm hmm. 
Do you require some additional services? Yes. All right, let's I think the auto dock is the only one that doesn't try to hit on you. Associated perks will also be replaced. Lost Heartless. Ooh. Nice. Healing items are twice as effective now. Mm. That's good to know. Oh, okay, good to know, Charlie. Charlie loves Doc Hammer. Dr. Venture is someone else, though, not Doc Hammer. Do you require some additional services? Yeah, I don't remember that guy's name. If if Doc right, Hammer's so not the voice of Doc Venture, then it's right, his then uh, cohort. The yeah, it's the other guy, but I don't remember his name. I can't name. think of his name. I follow him on Twitter, too. I don't even know. I'll have to look it out later. Oh, good, you can swap your heart and stuff back out if you want to. You can now be crippled again, but your strength and DT bonuses have doubled? Dang. Oh, thank you, Casey. James Urbanik. Urban. I can never say his last name. Urbaniek is Dr. Venture. Now that I see his name written down, I'm like, of course that's who it is. I'm out of bourbon. You're out of bourbon. Can you take a five so you can get some more? Well, this is spookin'. Hey guys, what's up? The lobotomite returns. Our lobotomite. Has Dr. Mobius been denominated into scrap metal and voice module parts as we hoped? Uh, yes. Oh man. <laughs> I, I've never been in a fight. What, uh, what, what, what do I? Ah, colleagues, think tank, alert, alert! We are Charlie wants to know what kind of bourbon it is. He likes Jimmy. Well, it's more of a whiskey. Uh, it's. Is it Jimmy? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's actually it's a Jimmy fire. fire. Yeah. He used to like something else, but they stopped making it. Bye, Dr. Venture. Wow, they went down like chumps. Can we loot? Yeah, we can loot them. <laughs> what? <laughs> Casey's screaming at you. <laughs> <laughs> Over what? <laughs> You didn't try to reason with them. You just learned they're all <laughs> brainwashed idiots. <laughs> Why is it worthwhile for me to do that? No, they're mad scientists and they're trying to escape. You can't reason with mad science. You can only destroy it. Yeah, it's kind of like cinnamon schnapps with that fireball stuff. Yeah, the fire. What was the other stuff you used to like? Red stag. Red stag, that's what they don't make anymore. It's the higher volume per, yeah. or higher <laughs> alcohol content. Casey says, you have literally a 100 in science. <laughs> you can beat all their skill checks. <laughs> well, now, we did. We we beat all of their skill checks. I kind of feel like we talked about killing them when we got yeah, here, Yeah, with though. a proton axe. We were very clear about how this was going to play out as soon as they took our brain. Yeah, I was not happy about yeah, that. Yeah, we were violated. Idiots or not, we can't let that stand. Yeah, it's done. <laughs> Made my bed. <laughs> I'm gonna lie brainless in it. <laughs> Guess I have to go to this big mountain and then teleport. Yeah, to you gotta go, to go my tell uh, your brain what's going on, I guess. Wait, where do we go? Leave the think tank. Okay. So merely leave the building. I'm sure nothing's about to happen. As it had been in the years before the Great War, Big Mountain, the Big Empty, 
became home to one of the brightest minds of the 23rd century. The courier watched over the big empty <laughs> for years to come. What? Caring for it and keeping its discovery safe. No. Until they were needed to help others. No. Which had always been Big Mountain's purpose. Past the laboratories of science, it had always been intended as a place to build the future of all mankind. Wow. The courier had scoured much of the Big Empty, although secrets still remained in the crater's depths. Perhaps that was for the best, however. Curiosity, while sometimes rewarded for its efforts, often proves to be equally dangerous. Dr. Mobius continued his research undisturbed in the Forbidden Zone. As much as he had attempted to create better scorpions, he tried the same with humanity, with considerably less success. <laughs> These failures didn't bother him over much. Once the rush of Mentats wore off, he forgot he had failed in any event. Wow. After all, the bright young mind who had come to visit him in the Forbidden Zone had already exceeded his expectations. The sink atop the dome bustled with the voices of a small town, constantly <laughs> chirping, arguing, and snarling at each other. Wow. Still, this all happened oh, really? okay. in the interests of its new owner. The sink central intelligence There's power armor discovered, here. despite hmm. its inversion code, that I can't it was wear. comforted by the sense of community the other personalities gave it. The biological research station, obsessed with seeding everything in sight requested a transfer to the X-22 Botanical Garden. Wow. So that it might, in its own words, sensually fertilize the garden's smooth contours. <laughs> the garden sent back a polite refusal, saying it had prior commitments with a vault it had helped infect before Did the we war. like the toaster? D I mean, it was funny. ...to devour all seditious materials until it nearly choked on a paper clip. It adamantly maintained it was a Chinese paper clip. The whole thing wow. had been an elaborately orchestrated assassination attempt. Whatever the reason, it slowed down for a while, carefully appraising each document and clipboard that came to it. The light switches continued to bicker and flicker. This persisted until the day someone dropped a flashlight in the sink. And the two of them united in their hatred of the showboat. The scene continued to ruthlessly scrub any particulate matter that came near it. Eventually, it gained access to the magneto hydraulics plant and nearly flooded all the big empty in an attempt to scrub the crater clean. Wow. The toaster continued its psychotic spree, reducing all appliances in range to scrap electronics and spare parts. After one of its narcotic episodes, however, the other sink personalities decided enough was enough <laughs> and dumped the toaster in a bathtub. <laughs> wow. Sparking and hissing, the toaster swore its enemies would rue the day when they had bread and no way to toast it. <laughs> Monkey made his best to collect coffee cups. Although in his quest, Poor it Muggy. might have been the end for poor Muggy. <laughs> Except he found it peaceful there, tidying up the kitchens of the think tank professors back when they had been flesh and bone. Well, except for Dr. O. He was an asshole. <laughs> Muggy left O's house deliberately dirty, punishing the dishes and cups that lived there in Blind revenge <laughs> serving Dr. O. Blind Owl Jefferson, with sounds the courier brought him, created a symphonic counter frequency that saved Big Mouth from sonic invasion in 2019. What? If you didn't hear about it, good. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. As punishment. 
Auto Doc, always gentle and methodical. Get sewing up the courier in all the right places when the skin split open. Repeated <laughs> wear and tear. The Auto Doc was just glad to have purpose again. It heard its simpler brothers and sisters who got shipped to the Sierra Madre, bored out of their skulls in that toxic dead city. In I guess time, there's more. The Autodoc found a way to deactivate the Y-17 trauma harnesses. Oh, good. Releasing the corpses they had held prisoner for almost 200 years. As the courier ran through the X-8 facility multiple times, <gasps> the computers analyzed the test subject's movements. Rather than performing a superficial observation, they realized the subject barely knew what communism was. <laughs> even what a high school was. <laughs> this confused them for a time until the facility finally realized that its research had succeeded. So it let its cyber dogs out into the waste oh, no. to help protect small communities <laughs> from physical aggression rather than communist propaganda. <laughs> the infiltration program in X-13 felt spent. Having repeatedly upgraded the stealth suit until it could upgrade it no more. <laughs> it felt warm, fulfilled, and a bit sluggish. It realized not long after the stealth suit had left it without so much as a note on the nightstand. Wow. So the infiltration program sent out robo braids into the wastes looking for its wayward technology. Oh no. It eventually found Repcon HQ and set up a new research center. Testing and murdering fiends who kept breaking into the facility. What? The courier left the brain at the big empty. A strange thing to say, but it was the truth. Brains are less important than they may seem. When the courier's body finally passed, the brain was saddened. It kept on, remembering the vessel that had once contained it. Even at the end, when it started to fail, however, the brain resisted going into a floating chassis like the think tank. It huh. never said why. Perhaps it was out of respect for the courier's body. All things must come to an end. And to hang <coughs> on to the past is something that's not to be undertaken lightly. So sorry about the dogs. The think tank basement filled with the lobotomized robotical frames of the doctors now served as a graveyard. The monitors had recorded the battle in its entirety, including the think tank's final shrill, terrified screams, <laughs> whimpers, and pleas for mercy. They broadcast these humiliating last moments as a warning to anyone approaching the perimeter. <laughs> the other smarty pants were not welcome. The courier was the inheritor of the big empty, and there was room for only one will in the halls of the think tank damn town. right there is an expression in the wasteland old world blues it refers to the so obsessed with the past they can't see the present much less the future for what it is they stare into the what was eyes like pilot lights guttering and spent as the realities of their world continue on around them science a long, steady progression into the future. What may seem a sudden event often isn't felt for years. What the shit? Centuries. Now I've got all serious. In the times following the second battle of Hoover Dam, however... Wait, that hasn't happened yet. ...blues took on a new meaning. Where once it was viewed as a form of sadness, nostalgia, it became an expression describing the potential... Spoilers! It can be easy to see science as evil, technology unchecked as the source of all ills, all misfortunes. With the courier at the helm, science became a beacon for the future. There With your five intel. Rules, <laughs> and, rules, and hope ruled the day at Big Mountain. We did it! More, but the stories in the Big Empty speak for themselves. Now armed with the transportal ponder, the courier could return to the dome at any time and crack open the secrets of the big empty one by one. The cool. sink sat vigilant, waiting for its master to return. <laughs> the series is taking so long dust. you had to get a drink. <laughs> Only one road yet remained, and it was one the courier had to walk alone. Bom bom bom. 
Wow, they're really sucking your dick, babe. I'm great. <laughs> Told you guys. Model says this narration is hilarious, and Charlie agrees with us that in the post-apocalypse, idiots should not be suffered to exist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only idiot allowed here. This is turn this big mountain is now idiocracy. Mm -hmm. You are the smartest man. I smartest, was the whole time. Yeah, the smartest woman in the world. Tr Transportal ponder? In case I want to like, use the facility. Oh, you didn't quite level, but you got a good chunk of the way. Now, it said there was stuff to do here besides the main... What? I think it means, like, if I want to use... Like switch some of my perks around, or mm. yeah, but it, it also scrap and yeah. I also made it sound like there was stuff we hadn't discovered out there yet. I mean, we didn't go to all the locations. That's true. We're missing but some locales. I don't think we missed any of the quests. No, I think it's just ex exploration shit now. Yeah. And then I didn't actually mean to leave my brain there. I thought I was leaving yeah, it there temporarily. temporarily. I, yeah. But whatever. Well, you got what you wanted on accident. Yeah. I got my heart and spine back. Those are the important things. It fits with the five intel. <laughs> All right, so how do I get out? Um, Something about the there's probably a teleporter. transporter gun. Yeah, might be in your inventory. Where's the transponder? Charlie says like recognizes like. I got nothing. About a... Uh, must kill the morons. Hey, you know, I yeah. do what I can. I guess maybe there's a teleporter somewhere in the building. Oh, uh, Lurker. Hey, Lurky, welcome to the chat and thank you for the help. Use it on the balcony. Ah. Thank you. I don't even have it in my inventory that I saw, so. How are you doing tonight, Lurky? How's it going? The Lurkster. He's Lurky Mister. The Lurkmeister. The Lurk Mister. Lurky Mister. All right. Is it an ah? Oh. oh. You're up to lurking tonight. How very on brand of you. <laughs> I'm back, baby. Yeah. It still never explained why it did that to us. Why we got teleported there. No. No, it did not. Yeah, the game did not feel it necessary to explain why any of that was happening. I left all my stuff there, too. But you can go back. Yeah. You can go back whenever. Not worried about it. Yeah, now you can uh, now you can scare the hell out of people in the normal wasteland with your proton axe. Where is this gun? Wow, you just look like an alien monster. My, my halo galaxy face and my uh, science axe. Yeah. All right, what are we doing? Nothing. Are we done? Yeah, we said midnight, right? We said two hours, yeah, we got like 20 minutes left. We wanna go just explore the rest of those uh, places in the DLC, we could try to unlock all the locations. Na 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 na. No, I, I feel like that's a good place to end it. Like, okay. we completed the DLC. Uh, when we stop, I'll download the rest of the DLC. So we have Like, I, I downloaded a couple of the other ones already. I think we're just missing one. Yeah, I think so. Anyway, as a reminder, guys, don't forget to use the link below in our About Us section to sign up to win the Fallout Dorbs Power Armor. That's something we need to do is go talk to the brother how to steal and learn how to wear some damn power armor. Uh, we blew them up. Oh, right, we can't. They're I dead. Yeah, I don't think we're ever going to learn how to use power armor in this game. We are not. Oh, well. That, that'll, yeah. be, that'll be for our Fallout 4 playthrough. Yeah. Anyways, this we're giving away on the 13th. There are five ways to enter with six chances. Uh, you can get up to six chances to win. It'll be a random draw on the 13th. So if you like collectibles, something to consider... So we're gonna we're gonna go raiding. Watch me watch me yeah. flail. Watch you flail. Is that uh is that how this is going? Get jiggy with it. Na 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 na. I don't think they wanna get jiggy with it, babe. They came for the jiggy. They came to get jiggy. They stayed for the na na na. <laughs> <laughs> Come for the jiggy, stay for the na 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 na
don't think that I don't think that's how that works. Now I can go back and get Lily and Rex. Oh yeah, why don't you do that? That way we have it all set for tomorrow or Thursday. Wait, no, we won't be playing this again until Saturday. Yeah, I'll just do it Saturday. Saturday. Right, let me see if this person's still on. They are not. Oh what? Uh, wait, yes they are. Ha! Ah. All right, we're gonna go watch some Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Oh shit, dog. Yeah. Let's see if I can spell his name. Night, y'all. My man. Mio, my man. Mio, my man. My man. My man. Intended for mature audiences only. Because it's Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Alright. We're gonna go in five, four, three, Two, one. Oh, I, ha I was counting it down. All right, now we go and go. Oh, 